Alrighty, so this was going to be a great teaching moment for my daughter. Uh, it's also a teaching moment for me. Uh, I always wonder how long it takes for the compost to be finished, but it's really a complex process and there's no black and white. Uh, there's a lot of gray areas about composting. Uh, there's a lot of uh, microbes and bacteria and um, fungi that are involved in breaking down those kitchen scraps. If you look over here, uh, sorry, I put these, I had to improvise because I had a rascal, a fox getting in. And, so if you look over here, there are all sorts of things, kitchen scraps, old uh, broken, uh, broken up mulch here. We have lemon, you know, kitchen crap, scrap stuff and wood shavings from the chicken coop. And along with that, there's also some chicken manure. So as it rains, as the sun shines, God and nature does all the work for us. If you look all around the grass, if you look all around there, it's right now is April. It's still technically winter, really, uh, here in Connecticut. Um, but if you look over here, oh, that's nice. If maybe if you would take all this over here, you see this is much light greener, and there's a bunch of patches that are not filled with grass. But if you look right under here, where the manure or the, uh, I'm sorry, the compost boxes, you can see all the runoff here. Sometimes I water it with the hose. You can see all the runoff with the water that brings all those nutrients and makes this grass here really hardy. You can see it's really dark green because of all the breaking down kitchen scraps, uh, chicken poop, chicken manure, uh, wood shavings, I mean bones. I have literally everything here uh, for, for kitchen scraps. I throw all my, my scraps over here. Uh, you can see uh, light green light green and then right by the compost box so for all those who have a question about how long does it taste for my compost to break down it's not black and white um depends how much sun is the compost box or compost pit is exposed to uh depends how much uh how how, how long uh the winters are cold for you guys uh it depends um if you have worms or not i had to put a bunch of worms there so it could break out fast uh, it depends, um, you know, um, how this, how much the sun shines and how much it rains. Uh, you know, uh, that's why I water it sometimes so it breaks down fast. Um, if you can follow me this way, right over there, there is our compost pit. My daughter who's filming this helped me dig it. And if you see here, this one takes longer to break down. We have this for about, what, maybe two years? Yeah. Yeah. I, I would say we have this for about two years. Um, stuff is still not broken up. I have, I mean, I have a watermelon peels that are about maybe eight months old from, you know, from last summer, um, you know, stuff like that. So that's because if you, if you look up, you see all the trees that we have in the backwoods. If you look, if you look up, you have all these trees, they don't let the sun shine here as much as the compost <clears throat> box. So the compost box is more exposed to the elements, the light, to the uh, sunlight, to to water, um, as opposed to this, which is not that exposed. So it's uh, it has a lot of shade. Um, it goes slower, but it still breaks down. And I've been using that compost to plant. We're gonna do the new garden. So that's about it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, baby, for filming.